Hello everyone, welcome back to the Retro Football Kit YouTube channel. I hope you're doing well today. Can you guess what we're looking at? We're of course looking at the top five Barcelona shirts of all time. Yeah, top five Barcelona. It's about time I made this video, eh? Uh, it's been actually suggested a couple times. So in the Parma video, Tala Sala said best club to never win the Syria, do Barcelona next. Uh, and then also Faisal said Barcelona next. And then a couple weeks later in the uh, Argentina video, Faisal said still waiting for that Barcelona video. So this is for you, mate. I'm finally getting around to it. But of course, I was going to eventually do Barcelona. Come on. But yeah, before we get started, a couple of things. Yeah, make sure you get in the comments below. I always reply to every comment I can. Uh, get the conversation going. Let me know what videos you want to see coming next. Doesn't have to be a top five. Could be whatever you want. And if you're enjoying the video, make sure you like and subscribe. All that good YouTube-y things. And the last thing I want to say is make sure you check out the Retro Football Kits uh, website. We sell thousands of retro football shirts. All these are behind me here. That special one there. All of them, they're on the website. Any shirt that I hold and show you in this video, we sell on our website. So the link will be in the description. Make sure you check that out. It, uh, it, I'd really appreciate it. Right, let's get into top five. My first kit on this list is the 1989 to 92 Barcelona home shirt. Now this era for Barcelona was so, so very special. Cruyff returned as a manager after being a player and he laid down the foundation of footballing philosophy that is now Barcelona identity. He built the cathedral as Pep said and this was that time. He assembled what would later be referred to as the dream team with players like La Masia graduate Pep Guardiola, you had Ronald Koeman, Laudrup, Stroikoff and so many others and this team won a lot. Now I'm going to read this straight from the script because there's so much but Cruyff uh, and his team won four consecutive La Liga titles from 1991 to 94. They beat Sampdoria both in the 1989 UEFA Cup Winners Cup and in the 92 European Cup final at Wembley. They also won the Copa del Rey in 1990, the European Super Cup in 1992 and three Super Coppers. <laughs> Absolutely unreal. I'm just getting my breath back now. <laughs> As for the shirt itself, it's it's just stunning, isn't it? It's so silky and stylish. I lot like the football that was being played in it. I just I love it so much. Um, so of course it's the traditional Barcelona stripes, but within those stripes, uh, there's like thinner stripes, and that mixed with the kind of silky pattern of the shirt creates this beautiful, really striking gradient down the front of the shirt. It's so silky and elegant. I love this kit a lot. It's very very nice. We uh, we unfortunately don't have the shirt ourselves but we do have this uh <laughs> this really dress like um vest from that era <laughs> um i really want to get this on camera because it's absolutely ridiculous look at it it's so long look at that it's absolutely mental i was definitely not gonna <laughs> wear it for the video um but yeah that we have that from the same era i also designed stickers of this shirt this is how good it is that sticker right there if it focuses there you go look so that era it's a very special area um also this kind of design has been re replicated a couple of times so in the 16 17 home shirt and also that very special classico shirt from a couple of seasons ago i really like the fin stripes within the stripes it's definitely a design i'd like to see more of so we're moving ahead now straight to the 1992 to 95 shirt continue Continuing from that era, moving to this one, like I've already said, they won a lot in this time period, but they transitioned from that kit to this Ke Kappa one. I nearly said Kepa. So Kepa, I said Kepa again, my God. So Kappa took over in 1992 and they really put their identity into this shirt. And to be honest, I think they created the best ever Barcelona shirt. I'm putting it out there. In my opinion, this is the best. We've got a couple, that one behind me, but also this beautiful long sleeve one and here now. And it's just, oh, there's, it's the small details in this shirt that make it really nice, I think. So as you can see, there's like an all over pattern uh, of Kappa and this lovely little Barcelona type design logo thing just dotted over the whole shirt. And um, the stripes, they're actually central. So like they go from the middle, uh, which creates a lovely kind of symmetrical feel to it. That same Barcelona um, is, that little logo is inside the colour. It's like a half and half thing, obviously a beautiful 90s color uh, lovely little white bit of taping over the shoulders that just gives a little bit more dimension and of course the iconic kappa taping coming down and if you've got a beautiful long sleeve like this it just comes all the way down um just just an absolutely stunning kit i think this is the best ever barcelona kit they won stuff in it it's iconic it's beautiful it had to make the list also, the away from that season is just stunning. It's basically the same themes, but put into a really bright, 
baby blue kind of kit and it's just also a very stunning kit unreal set of kits really Kappa would go on to make a couple more beautiful kits for uh, Barcelona 1997 98 ones these ones here the home and away we've got both really nice set of kits very similar themes with that kind of Barca logo um, more Kappa tape and very similar themes but beautiful beautiful shirts of course next up I'm going for the 1999 to 2000 centenary home shirt and I just love centenary shirts I think in a lot of these lists these top fives I add the centenary one in because they always just celebrate the club's history of kits the very early days the kind of what makes that club and that colors and whatever special they put into a centenary kit and that's what barcelona have done here so back in the very very early days of barcelona instead of the stripes that we know and love today it was more of a half and half kind of pattern and the very first kit uh, is in directly inspired to this centenary kit so the very first kit you were seeing now is inspired this kit and you can see the similarity so here we have this kit this 1999 uh, kit uh, and as you can tell, a very half and half kit with blue and red on either side. And then there's that massive, massive open colour, just like the very first kit they played in. But that's where the kind of similarity stop. I think this kit also added its own uh, nice elements to it. So obviously you can see the years uh, 1899 to 1999 on the front, which is, of course, when they were founded. 100 years centenary shirt, obviously. Uh, and also this kind of navy uh, colour and shoulders, like block patterns on the front i really quite like that it really defines it this you won't see a barcelona kit like this it's very special it's very unique and i think that's what makes it stand out um, and of course it celebrates the history of barcelona so all around loads and loads of wins for me on this one we've got the main man rivaldo on the back of that one as well come on look at that legend jumping way way ahead now and we move into the very famous guardiola era the lamazio graduate made his transition from a uh, player to manager and he was back managing the barcelona b team the youth team and but of course being a student of johan cruyff playing he was playing just beautiful beautiful football and that's kind of his football in philosophy that he has been passed down from the legend uh, and that quickly got him promoted to the main barcelona head coach role where he took over from frank ricciard so pep took took over and quite quickly got rid of legends like Ronaldinho and Deco and wanted to base his squad around players like Xavi, like Iniesta and of course like Messi. And he started his managerial like top flight career in the most successful way you could ever ever do that. It's insane. They beat Bell Bell 4-1 in the 2009 Copa del Rey final. Uh, a historic 2-6 victory against Real Madrid followed three days later, which kind of solidified the La Liga title for them. And then, of course, they beat Manchester United 2-0 in Rome to win the Champions League, completing the historic treble, the first Spanish treble ever won. Uh, just absolutely insane. What a way to start your career. Imagine winning a treble in like your first year of management. That's different gravy. So the shirt from that year, the 0809 shirt, uh, we have it here. It's again, it resembles that uh, Centenary shirt I mentioned earlier on in the video with the kind of half and half. This is complete half and half though, with this whole side being red, whole side being blue. Very, very simple. Uh, I know it's not pushing the boat out much in like design wise. It's not completely stunning. I quite like the fact it is completely half and half. You don't see that simplicity. Uh, is key here but to be honest I think with the obviously very stunning simple kit mixed within the historic treble this kit is now etched into like the history you see Messi playing in this you see Iniesta playing this you can picture it very vividly so it, that's why I had to make this list it was so historic it's kind of etched into Barcelona legend now I also personally really love the third shirt from this season so this one right here we've got it again I love the fact that it's blue on blue stripes I love the fact that it's got this kind of celebration of the Camp Nou 50 year anniversary around the badge it's got that kind of blue feel from the 90s kits I mentioned earlier like the 92 away it's very resemblant of that especially with a color uh, it's a very clean and nice kit man i was struggling to pick a fifth kit here like there's so many on the honorable mention list there's so many to choose from i had to be um strict i was struggling to pick a fifth shirt on this list but i've gone for two shirts because it's my channel do what i want <laughs> but i've gone for two shirts because they're both they're both linked and embedded with Barcelona history and culture in this in similar ways. So I thought I'd throw them both together. They're both modding kits as well. So my first pick for f my first final pick, what? <laughs> so my first final pick is the nineteen nineteen 
1919, that's a very old kit. That's not the one. For, so my first final pick, I'm going with the 2019-20 third shirt. Now this kit, again, it's very resemblant of those 90s kits I've already mentioned about the 90s, uh, the 92 away shirt, the kind of like really bright blue kits. That's what it reminds me of. But then the cuffs and the color, they keep the traditional blue and red colors of Barcelona. So it's kind of got a mixture of the two worlds in there. Then the all over pattern, uh, behind the shirt is inspired by the club's crest. So, of course, you see the St. George's cross and the Catalan flag used as this graphic that goes across the whole shirt in this shiny matte kind of mixture of colours. It really, really works. Um, I like it a lot. Again, embedded with, you know, Barcelona culture in it, so that's why it's made the list. So my final... Final pick is this year's European kit. I've already expressed my love for this kit on this channel already in the best kits of 2021 video. Check that out if you haven't already. But come on, this kit is just oh, it's just brilliant, isn't it? It's, it's, it's embedded with Barcelona culture. The shirt, it features uh, loads of different illustrations of Barcelona landmarks from each different neighbourhood of Barcelona within the stripes. So it's, I love that because if you're from Barcelona, you can maybe look at this shirt and find an iconic landmark from your neighborhood or or whatever like they've got stuff from like La Masia and all this kind of stuff it's just so deeply embedded with Barcelona culture I think I've said that so many times now but I love that you know and it, that's great for the people of Barcelona like that's what will connect them to their club and I know this season isn't great for Barcelona there's been so much controversy and I know they're not even in the Champions League anymore they're in the Europa League they played tonight actually they played tonight because I'm filming on a Thursday um but so they'll be play, playing in this kit probably. And I, so I know it's all tainted with all that, but this shirt is just so beautiful. It's unreal. It should have been this year's home shirt, let's be honest. Um, I love it a lot. I will definitely buy it at some point in my time. Uh, so it had to make the list as well. So that's my final, final pick. As I said, this, this list was so hard to pick top five, kind of top six. It was so hard to narrow it down. There's so many nice kits. Like I mentioned those Kappa kits, they weren't in the list. They were like an honorable mention. And the honorable mention list is still bigger than that. So I'm going to quickly run through some other shirts that didn't quite make the cut. So I'm going to go with the 1997-98 European shirt. That shirt I'd never seen it before. I think it's brilliant. Like, uh, very symmetrical. Each half looks like the other half, but inverted. Really cool colours. It's so cool. It's such a really unique, uniquely designed kit I've never seen before. So that had to make it. The 0304 Barcelona jersey, this one right here, this kind of golden, browny colour with the, the pinstripes going up. You can just picture Ronaldo scoring that great goal uh, in this kit. Brilliant, brilliant kit. I love it. I had to make the list. I said Ronaldo. Shit. Ronaldinho. Fuck. So shit. Next is going to be the 2010-11 Barcelona shirt, this one right here. Now, this is one of those cleanest, cut, just simple but beautiful Barcelona kits. Yellow cuffs, simple stripes. It's just brilliant. Yellow accents. It's just everything a Barcelona kit wants and needs to be. It's even got, you know, the Catalan little flag behind it. It's it's just brilliant. I love it. It's so, like, just just classy. I've already mentioned the 0809 treble, but... Barcelona won another treble, of course, in the 14-15 season. And this had the iconic MSN attack. Messi, Suarez and Neymar. They were on top of the world at that point. So the kit from that one as well. And finally, just some of the kits from last season were really cool. I weren't a big fan of the home, but the away, the black and gold away. Come on, black and gold kits will always work, won't they? Uh, so that was really beautiful. The pink third shirt was different. Uh, might have been a little bit jarring, but I thought it was quite cool. Very, very much a fashion kind of kit, opposed to a real true football kit. Uh, they had the Classico kit as well specifically made for the Classico which is inspired by the 89 kit with those kind of um, different colours but the Catalan flag is put into there beautiful and also the Senyera kit the fourth kit from that year loads of kits this year but um, just a nice selection of kits there I thought they all deserved a little mention and that's it that is my top five that is my honourable mention list that is all the Barcelona kits that I love um, let me know what you think did I miss any I don't think I missed any come on I surely haven't missed any there I've mentioned a lot of kits it's been a really fun video to shoot and uh, write for I really really enjoyed it thank you for watching i really appreciate you get in the comments man let me know what you think let me know what other videos you want to see not just top fives like what tier list do you want to see what like football shirt content do you want to see let me know i'd love to hear what you uh, guys have to say um and that's it yeah make sure you check out the website of course retrofootballkits.co.uk all the shirts i've held up in this video all these barcelona shirts loads more uh, different teams of course um just great great shirts make sure you check out the website uh, link will be in the description um next week i'll probably do real madrid it makes sense to do barca than real madrid uh, so hope you look forward to that and i think that's it i'm going to stop talking now have a great day everyone Bye.